नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू मोहन जेनिक्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेफ एंड हेल्दी एंड यूर स्टडीज ऑल्सो गोइंग वेल एज वी आर डिस्कसिंग बेसिक सिग्नल्स अंडर दिस चैप्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज यूनिट इंपल्स फंक्शंस एंड इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सम ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ यूनिट इंपल्स सिग्नल इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस और आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट इट्स नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी सो विदाउट एनी डिले पढ़ाई शुरू करते हैं बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस लेक्चर आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू अटेंड दिस क्वेश्चन एंड राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन विडो Use your basic concept of properties of unit impulse and solve it. I will give solution of this question at the end of this lecture. So let's start. Before directly jumping into the seventh property of unit impulse signal, I want to solve these two questions. These two questions are basic questions of signal and system which can come into your gate exam and any exams which cover. basic signals okay so let's solve it the first question is that integration from minus 2 to plus 2 del t minus 3 so for this i if i can directly write answer of this but before writing answer of this i want all of you to explain how it will come so let's draw del t minus 3 del t minus 3 can be drawn directly by assuming in the positive side this is the point 3 and here one impulse function that is like this okay as here it is minus 3 so it is time shifting that's why we have shifted our unit impulse signal which which used to be at time t is equal to 0 we have shifted this by 3 units as here it is del t minus 3 i have explained this earlier also so this is del t minus 3 now we have to integrate it from minus 2 to plus 2 as per our question you can see here from minus 2 to plus 2 so friends you can observe that in this range from minus 2 to plus 2 it does not exist that means its integration will be zero so by directly looking into the integration limit that is minus 2 to plus 2 we can say that what will be the integration of any impulse function if impulse function exists within that range then its answer or its calculation will be 1 as we know that area of any unit impulse function is 1 this is the third property of unit impulse signal so let's move into our second question second question integration from minus 4 to plus 4 del t minus 3 this function remains same that is this is the signal or this is the function but integration limits changes integration limit changes to minus 4 to plus 4 suppose here it is plus 4 okay so as we know that integration from minus infinity to infinity del t is 1 that is i forgot to write here dt okay so don't confuse with this so area of any impulse function is 1 that's why uh, that's why here from minus 4 to plus 4 as this impulse function exists its area or its answer will be 1 so simply for this kind of question you just have to see whether this integration limits are within the range of that function or not this it is very simple so let's move into our seventh property that is integration from minus infinity to infinity x t del t minus t 1 so let's solve it we can solve this by using our sixth property our sixth property was x t del t minus t 1 is equal to x t 1 del t minus t 1 this was our sixth property just we are using this property here so this value becomes minus infinity to plus infinity x t1 into del t minus t1 dt okay now we can say that this is the constant as it is x t1 so any constant quantity can be taken out of the integration that's why i have kept it here 
सो एच टी वन इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम माइनस इंफिनिटी टू प्लस इंफिनिटी डेल टी माइनस टी वन एंड एज वी नो दैट एरिया ऑफ एनी इम्पल्स फंक्शन इज और एरिया ऑफ एनी यूनिट इम्पल्स फंक्शन इज वन दैट्स वाई इट्स वैल्यू विल बिकम एच टी वन ओके so its answer will be or this property will be if suppose there is integration from minus infinity to plus infinity x t del t minus t1 then it will be x t1 you can also solve it by other concept also that is our fourth property as we know that area of any weighted impulse is weight of that impulse okay so in this case this is this whole function dx t1 into del t minus t1 is weighted impulse function and weight of this impulse is x t1 so we can directly write from this step to this step that area of any weighted impulse is weight of that impulse which is x t1 so let's move on to our question which i have asked at the starting of our lecture we can solve it by using our seventh property which was integration from minus infinity to plus infinity x t del t minus t1 dt is equal to x t1 here if we compare this question with our left hand side of this property then what we get x t is equal to you can see this is x t x t is equal to e to the power minus t square okay and what is t1 we can directly write t1 as 3 we can compare this left hand side to this question okay so we got this so answer of this question suppose this is i integration that is so i will be x t is equal to t1 that means 3 okay so in this x t we just have to replace at in place of t t1 that is 3 so what it will become it will e to the power minus 3 square that is equal to e to the power 9 which was option c so this c will be right answer i hope all of you have got it right ummeed karta hu ki aap logon ko ye lecture achhi tarah se samajh mein aaya अगर हाँ तो इस वीडियो को लाइक करना ना भूलें अपने दोस्तों में ज्यादा से ज्यादा शेयर करें अगर कोई भी डाउट हो कोई क्वेरी हो या कोई फीडबैक सजेशंस हो तो उसे कमेंट सेक्शन में लिखना ना भूलें मेरे साथ जुड़े रहने के लिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन को भी प्रेस करें और हाँ अगर आप मुझे कोई भी सोशल मीडिया पर फॉलो करना चाहते हैं जैसे कि फेसबुक इंस्टा या फिर टेलीग्राम तो उसके लिंक्स डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में देख सकते हैं वहां जाकर आप मुझे फॉलो कर सकते हैं इस लेक्चर का अगर आपको पीडीएफ चाहिए तो आप मेरे टेलीग्राम चैनल को ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं इस वीडियो को अंत तक देखने के लिए धन्यवाद दोस्तों जय हिंद